Hi guys, a uh, quick and dirty little tutorial about creating a occlusion pass, the fastest way to create an occlusion pass for a scene. Uh, this was a a question that was posted on the new tech forums. So let's just quickly render a frame for this uh, from the, for the beauty to take a look at that. Okay, so so this is the beauty and then I would want to output a separate occlusion pass and that's essentially the, the question now what is the fastest way to set that up well first of all I will just go ahead and save this out as a, a new scene file here I will call it occlusion and instead of actually doing like creating new versions of all these objects uh, and, and replace it on the shader level I will use Dennis Pontonier's pixel filter to create the occlusion pass. So if I hit Control F8 and on the pixel filter here, I will add uh, the the node pixel filter. Double click and this will bring up this nodal interface. So let's search for an occlusion shader. I will take uh, the one that comes with with Dennis Pontonier's uh, DP kit, and I will just bring that one into color. And then of course occlusion is very dependent on the scene scale. So in this case, I will uh, bring this one down to about 25 centimeters. And uh, an important thing also is to do to double click this pixel filter output here and enable ray trace uh, global 3D shading and multi-threaded uh, support for the perspective camera. And that's essentially what you need to do. So now, if I do a F9 render, we can see that, whoops, we have global illumination enabled, which slows this down, of course. So let's abort this, because there are a bunch of things now that I can turn off here for this scene. So first and foremost, global illumination is not needed. I don't need to have all these ray tracing functions. So let's turn those off. Shading samples might be a good idea to bring up. So let's say two instead. And again, let's do a test render for this. And let's take a look at that. So there is the occlusion pass. And well, not now it's just a matter of uh, making sure that you set up the output the, the way you wanted and so on and so forth. That is probably the easiest way to create a occlusion pass without actually having to touch any shaders or anything like that. So cheers guys!